The State Minister for Northern Uganda, Honorable Quiltrin Grace Freedom, on behalf of His Excellency Yori Kaguta Museveni and the Ministry of Works and Transport, commissioned the 5.99 kilometer Gulu City roads in Gulu City. The day was officiated by ribbon cutting, speeches by invited delegates such as the local government representatives, honorable members of parliament, the chairman of Uganda National Roads Authority, and the chief guest, State Minister for Northern Uganda. Honorable Quiltrin Grace Freedom. But Gulu City has been rated the best. I get this comment from family first people, from technical people, but also from the local people. Your city is good. We are witnessing today government's commitment and strategy for transformation. These roads are not just because we want to make the road. We want to transform our economy and we want to get out of poverty. And we know very well that the road is one factor that can promote us. We commissioned this road from Olu to Gulu, the 70 kilometer road plus the roads in the towns of Amaka and the roads in the city here now. And the government is very proud to announce, even repeatedly, to say that this was government of Uganda money. This was our money taxpayers directly government allocated to over maybe 200 billion. But I also want to say even where World Bank has given us money, or any other partner has given money, it was a loan. Yet we are also paying. I want to. I want to appreciate that because of this, the work which has been done on the road by our government is now beyond 3,000 kilometers of roads in this country since the MRM came in. And more roads are in the budget, more roads are in the National Development Plan, more roads you have just given us now here. I want to appeal to you that these roads in Acholi region should be used for economic transformation. We cannot see the roads and admire that this is the best road and stop there. We should make economic use of it. It is trying that there is poverty. I want to take this opportunity to announce that two weeks ago, government has approved USA 4 to be implemented in Northern Uganda. And we will stand wondering that this really should be the last leg. This should be the last leg in the coffin of poverty. Because we are going to focus on the 39% poor households. And in northern Uganda, we still have the highest number of poor households. In the Chile region, we have 68% poverty prevalence. And so, when that of program comes, and we are going to focus on households, please, let us do it like we have never done it before. Government is also going to implement the parish model by the end of this month in Bukedi region. It's starting from there, but once it is launched, it will start everywhere in all district local governments. And as you know, parish model is supposed to mobilize productivity. And once it mobilizes productivity, we know that we can eat, but we can also get income, but we can also get employed from what we do. This is the choice here of UNRWA, and UNRWA has supported the government to show the impact we are seeing today. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for being keen as local leaders that you monitor the progress of development in your area. And please keep it up because it is difficult 
to correct mistakes after everything else has been done. It is easier when you monitor, then the mistakes can be corrected in time. So I want to encourage you, all of you, that this is the time to put more effort and to mobilize our people to support government. Let's support government so that you can see development come. I want to take this opportunity to declare these roads I have commissioned for greater impact in northern Uganda. For God and my country. The upgrading of the 5.99 Gulu City roads from gravel to tarmac costed 18.72 billion shillings and was funded by the government of Uganda. The commissioning of these Gulu City roads serves as a 36th celebration of the NRM Day gift from the government of Uganda by His Excellency Yori Kaguta Museveni to the people of Gulu City. Reporting for West Nile Television, I am Okumuringa Christine.